I love it. I love it. I love what I'm seeing, man. Shout out to the rappers who are doing this. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is I love it. I love it. I love what I'm seeing, man. Shout out to the rappers who are doing this. You got a lot of rappers who are out here investing into the trucking industry and they are really doing their thing. I was smart enough, like I invest my, my, my money in other shit. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm able to recoup everything from, from okay. truck from truck services to nigga putting my money in, like don't tell my baby mama, like here, throw some of this money in with this her type shit. Okay, so you have trucking companies? Yeah. What, what kind of trucking companies? Like, you know, the one that, get, that pick up the load, like... That pick up like shit from uh FedEx and UPS and shit and transport them to to another one somewhere in the city or outside the city some shit ain't like no mm. big ass like diesel type shit. You can get like the uh what you call them cars like the little um the little buses like the little uh kind of like the little daycare. You can get like daycare buses type shit and mm. take the seats out and just fill them up and just transport them. You get money in that type shit. Of course, you got rappers who investing in real estate and other different things or whatever but you also got a lot of rappers man that they don't know what they're doing they get that money they blow it on stupid things they buying cars they buying jewelry they trying to keep up with the joneses and before you know it they're broke they don't have a clue or idea of how to invest nobody's not teaching them how to invest well i can't say nobody's not teaching them because you can go on youtube nowadays man and everybody got courses classes we got houses, of course, but that's the regular shit. Um, truckings. What? Um, trucks. Trucks? Yeah, like 18 wheelers. Um, what? Restaurants. We got What's with the 18 wheelers? <laughs> like, what do you mean you got 18 wheelers? Trucks, like, um, that transport, like, packages from stores. Kodak said that too. What's with the 18 wheelers? Just don't ask questions, all right? No, but I mean, that's not like a not. conventional that's thing. That's actually like, very interesting, yeah. But... That's exactly. Like, how do you get into 18-wheeler transport? Like, what's the you just get con you just, you just buy the trucks, and you get contracts from, like, Amazon, or you'll get contracts with, like, Walmart. It's like, you got to have relationships. You got to know people. If I got two trucks, and my manager got eight trucks, and he doing well, I'm going to ask him, like, how you getting that? What you doing? You know what I'm saying? Everybody got different ways of how you can invest your money. And these guys, basically... When you become a rapper and you sign with a label, you just getting a really big loan, you know. So a lot of these guys don't know how to take the loan and invest it into the proper places. And they wind up thinking, oh, they got five hundred thousand, a million dollars. They thinking, oh, I got tons of money. And then later on in their career or a few years into their career, they realize I don't have as much money as I thought I had because that money will go quick, quick, quick. It'll go. You purchase a car and a home. Before you know it, that million dollars is gone. You know, you spent, let's say, for example, you spent 400000 500000 on your house, spent another 100000 on a car, another 100000 on jewelry. Now you're only left with $200,000, $300,000. And guess what? You don't know what to do with it. I'm getting a truck business and and tow truck business. Tow truck business. Yeah, tow truck business. Like sniper and, gang trucking and eighteen wheelers. <laughs> that would that would be sniper game trucking. Go ahead, would be amazing. And eighteen wheelers. You know what I'm saying? Like my vision. I I want to. I want to. I want. I want to part. I want to part eighteen eighteen wheelers on eighteen hundred block. That would be from eighteen hundred block. So I'm gonna have eighteen eighteen wheelers on eighteen hundred block. So year. what's like the business model for the trucking business? Like what? Like delivering, like you used to have your own trucks, like delivering shit. Yeah, delivering shit. You know, you know, short stopping all the other, all the other trucks that deliver for like Amazon, Publix, and all the other little wholesale places and all the stuff. I'm happy to see, man, that these younger guys they are doing their thing. Yes. What y'all want to do, man? Y'all want to let go? Let's go. But you know, I 